You know sometimes when you get that one swing thought, that one beautiful swing thought, that one easy to repeat gorgeous swing thought, that's exactly what I had whilst giving a lesson on my second channel Get Good at Golf on the Golf Sun Simulator. That was a really nicely struck air tie and that will go around 155 yards again I would presume. Oh, it's got 160 yards in the air, that one. And I just had to share it with you because I think I've gained around 10 to 15 yards here. And I'm not over exaggerating when I say this could transform my golf game and hopefully yours. Guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you my exact thought. I'm going to bring the video to you. So make sure you do subscribe to Get Good at Golf. The link is in the description if you want to see more videos like this. I'm going to try to take it to the golf course. Oh, it works! It works! Right guys, let's jump on the Golf Sun Simulator. Let's see exactly what I was trying to teach you guys that I've actually taught myself that's given me potentially 10 yards with every club. In today's video, we're going to talk to you through three key fundamentals, how you can increase club head speed, hit longer, straighter golf shots, also while swinging potentially a little bit slower and a little bit more in sequence like this. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson. Welcome back to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, we're gonna help you get good at hitting longer straighter irons. That eight iron went 156 yards for me. That is a shot which I really enjoy playing. And the reason why I can play that so consistently is I don't try to hit at the golf ball. I don't try to create as much physical club head speed as possible. You can see guys, I actually swung a lot faster there in that second swing and that's only carried 135 yards. So I've lost 20 yards there. You can see on the replay, it's not a really functional golf swing. It's not something I can repeat time after time. So how can I do this? How can I actually swing? Everyone remembers golf swings like Ernie Els, Adam Scott, Louis Oosthuizen, who all swing really, really nicely, but all swing within a nice fluid motion and keep what we call a nice tempo or even rhythm to that golf swing, such as that was a really nicely struck air tie and that will go around 155 yards again, I would presume. Oh, it's gone 160 yards in the air, that one, because again, I had a nice slow rhythm and look at that for a finishing position. That's exactly what we do want in the golf swing. So again, if I want to hit the golf ball further, did you notice how straight that last shot was as well? I can start to really think about that rhythm and I've recreated that same golf shot. So I would imagine this should be the same thereabouts as the last one exactly the same to the yard carry 165.63 yards a nice backspin on there as well now how do i do that it's all about the sequence it's all about how i load up into the backswing yes the rhythm of the backswing is nice and kind of fluid and rhythmical but it's actually in a proper sequence where i can build more momentum i can build more speed and by more speed i mean more club head speed that should result in more ball speed that should actually help us again hit longer straighter golf shots so i do this by making sure that my lower half stays nice and stable on the takeaway we have covered this on numerous videos before but it's so important i do like to keep checking it off for you and guys if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button so lower half stays nice and stable upper half moves away to start with then as you start kind of setting the wrists here that's where your weight will move back into this trail side your actual leg might straighten a bit because that hip likes to move backwards then you are at the top of the backswing in a nice lovely position. Now what you've done here is separate your upper and lower half of your body. So from there, you can actually transition by moving your weight left, rotating that lower body. You'll see it's almost a squatting down motion here. If I hit you a shot, we're gonna focus on the replay here. And again, I'm gonna try and go really, really nice rhythm. And again, that shot's gonna be around probably 160 again because I've put such a good rhythm and strike on it. 162 yards in the air. I'm starting to get this. Now look at the replay. Look at how I almost squat down in my transition. I get to the top of the backswing and from there I almost squat down and move into that golf ball. That allows me to properly rotate down into impact. It allows me to use my lower half of the body and it allows me to, while swinging just a little bit smoother, get strikes like that, this is now a strike show of straight golf shots 
all traveling further than they were before. I can't believe how much distance. We do this a lot here on Get Good at Golf. We show you guys videos, we show you guys drills to do, which Chris is gonna do in a second, and it actually improves our game. So guys, thank you so much for improving our game, helping us get good at golf, because these numbers that I'm finding, I actually, Chris, I need to practice this. You do. Look at this, right. So before Chris gives us a drill, remember, it's all about that takeaway, separating upper and lower body, get to the top in a nice smooth rhythm, and then recreate that rhythm, but in reverse on the way down. That's gonna allow us to square the club face up, move the club probably quicker through the ball, but it feels like it's slower. And again, we have hit a lovely big high fade. Guys, Chris is now gonna show you a couple of drills that you can use to help you do this. It is a phenomenal way of picking up more ball speed, of hitting straight to golf shots. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not done already. Now, as you can imagine, I could not believe when I started hitting those eight irons pretty much 10 yards further than I would normally hit a good eight iron. The strikes now feel fantastic. I feel like I'm much more in control. I feel like I'm gonna hit more accurate golf shots as well as potentially longer golf shots. And if you can have more accurate, longer golf shots, that has to lead to better golf. Guys, go and try this at home. I really hope it does work for you like I think it's gonna work for me. Just having that better rhythm, just trying to create more club head speed through the bigger muscles in the body, the bigger body parts, and just trying to stay more in balance whilst feeling that downswing really working down into the ball. Huge shout out to the Golf Sun Simulator as well, by the way, because that's really reignited my passion for wanting to improve, wanting to hit better golf shots, just wanting to be a better me. So, can it work out on the golf course? We saw it work on the first tee. Feels so different to what I was doing. Oh, stop it. That felt gorgeous. It really did. It feels like I don't even have to... That is so good. I don't even have to try. It feels... Does anyone follow Roger Steele on Instagram? I did make this remark a few years ago when I was working on my golf swing, but it feels like I just get to the top and I get a little bit more lag that I can squat down into the ball, compress that ball into the turf. I'll throw Roger's swing on screen now because it is something to die for. Need to catch up with Roger at some point. Met him in LA last year, great guy. And also I must say that as a flag high pitching wedge, it leaked a little bit on the wind from 150 yards. So yes, it's a little bit downhill, but it is into the wind slightly. My pitching wedge is normally a 130 yard club. Could this be a total game changer for all of us? I'm not saying I'm reinventing the wheel, but something's just clicked. And it was important for me to make this video, I'll try clicking with a golf glove on by the way, it doesn't work. Important for me to make this video so I can watch it back. So when it fails, I know what to do. And I actually love how transferable this feeling is throughout the bag. You see, after I did that video yesterday, that will be live on Get Good At Golf Now, guys, if you wanna see the drills that Chris brings us as well. It feels like I can transfer it to the wedges. So I came and tested the Vega wedge that you all saw on the channel the other day, and it felt like I could even pitch better. I was pitching really close. Turn, 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 oh, it stayed there. Doesn't work for putting though, that is a par but probably one of the easiest pars you are ever going to make. Moving on. You're all saying, it's okay working with irons, it has to work with Big Dog. If you wonder why there's so many head covers in that bag, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button because there's some incredible videos coming soon. If I do say so myself, right, does it work with driver? Again, this really excites me because I'm actually hitting driver as well as I probably ever have done, but we always want to hit driver further, don't we? We always want to hit longer, straighter drives in an ideal world. So can this swing thought, can this little movement that I've triggered help me be more powerful and more accurate with the big stick? This is a big question that hopefully we can answer right now. Oh yes, we can. That is a perfect shape I want as well. Lovely big high fade over that corner. And I certainly feel like it's helping me hit up on the ball more, just squatting down into impact and then pushing up through it, I feel like that's gonna have the best spin rate, the best ball speed, and the best launch angle possible for me. Yes! And you know what guys, I really hope this video does well, not just from a sense of lots of people seeing it, but from a sense of, I'm sure lots of people can relate to it. When you get that feeling, you wanna make sure it stays for good. We're away. And if anyone's questioning the accuracy behind this, 
that is another drive bang next to the center line. And this is a ball with lots of mud on it. There's hardly any roll. There was quite a lot of rain out here last night. So we'll clean and place that. But again, in these kind of just moving into summer conditions where the ground is quite moist, we're into a bit of wind. This is a big hit for me. This is definitely an improvement on what we've seen in the past. So can I reenact those shots that I was hitting yesterday? It's all about managing low point, I think. I think. Just such a good strike, such a deeper divot as well. That has spun so far back, it is scary. Obviously because I'm just getting a little bit more down on it and those grooves are working a little bit harder. So guys, a little bit of a different video today. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, smash that subscribe button below. Also go and check out our other channel, Get Good At Golf, where we help you get good at golf just one day at a time. And hopefully help me get good at golf just one video at a time. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.